behalf of the Vernon South Club, I welcome the Mayor of the City of Manawadin, Councillor Samus Athen, and his lovely wife, Mrs. Athen. Other councillors of the City of Manawadin are present here today. Secretary of the Waverley and District Tennis Association, Mr. Mark Collins, and his wife, Mrs. Collins. Councillor of the Royal Victorian Bowls Association, Mr. Frank Tobias and Mrs. Tobias. President of the Eastern Suburbs in your Byers Bowls Association, Mr. Ian Snowball. Past presidents of the Vermont South Community Tennis Club. Members and their guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I think that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Special welcome to all of you on this an important day in the life of the Vermont South community. An important day in the life of the city of Manawati. I doubt if there's anyone here today who hasn't in some way over the years contributed in some way or other towards this particular day. <clears throat> and we trust will continue to contribute and share in the future the future well-being of this great club. Many years ago, we sat in the community house down on Burwood Highway back in late 1975. And we listened to the then, the then town clerk of the city of Nunawati, Ted Jane, who said, I have a vision, a vision that I need your help with. And help me go. I won't talk about the blood, sweat, and tears, the good times, the fun times, or the tough times. You, the members of you, and you should be very, very proud of it. Today, earlier this morning, was held the first meeting of the management committee of the Vermont South Club. And it's fitting that on this same day, we'll witness the official opening of this new building. <coughs> After the official proceedings, everybody is invited to the help of our lovely midweek ladies, people and all the ladies of the club, to join us some afternoon tea in the old building. <laughs> I'd now officially welcome you all here and ask you to join with me in welcoming the president of the Vermont South Club, Mr. Jeff Isles. Thank you very much, Kevin. I think all of us who are here today all work in a unique way in that we're all here in a voluntary capacity. A lot of us have other commitments in life, but uh, we also rank other areas as an area that we'd like to spend time and do work in, mainly for the enjoyment, the challenge, or for other recreational or reason that we have for participating. And I think on this historic day of the opening of this new club and the new building that we have here, it really is an ideal opportunity to recognise some of the people that have contributed today or that have our representative of areas in which we have participated since the birth of the club some 14 years ago. Firstly, I think all of us would agree that without the work, the leadership and the vision of our past presidents, that none of this would have even been started. One person who is here, who probably more so, I believe, than any other single person in this club, has contributed to the development of where we are today and of what the club is today, who served for five years as our, as our president and is now our vice president, Kevin Donovan. And Kevin, I'd like to give you, on behalf of the club, the very first bottle of our inaugural year, Bailey's Rich Port, and thank you for a job well done. Since the inception of the club, we have participated 
in the Wavian District Association Club has taken to the concept of night tennis. So that today, with over 50 teams playing regularly on a Monday to Thursday night, we're by far the strongest club playing in the Wavering District Association. We have 22 junior teams, probably one of the strongest clubs representing juniors. So that the club is a very active club in Wavering District. In recognition of the work that Mark has done, I'd like Mark to come forward, please. Today, we are no longer just a tennis club, but a club providing new opportunities for sport and recreation. We built this complex with a view of being able to fit down three mats. And although we were a bit worried at some stage whether the three mats would fit in, having now purchased the three mats, we see that they do. Now I'd like those two gentlemen to come forward now, please. the club planning committee has looked at is that with the provision of the indoor carpet bowls that we'll start generating a number of people, maybe senior citizens and others, around the club with an interest in participating in outdoor bowls. And when we first started looking at building this complex, we saw the little block of land that's stuck down there, the little pocket handkerchief of land that we're sure that the councillors at some stage may see uh, an advantage to pass across to the club so that an outdoor bowls rink could also be established. And that may be in 5, 10, 15 years time that as all of us age and as the community ages that maybe even the two courts out here may even at some stage become outdoor bowling greens so that we would have a very large complex for bowls. And it's a pleasure today to be able to welcome on behalf of the RBBA Frank Tobias It's the final group of people I'd like to welcome today, and possibly the most important group, are our representatives from the City of Nunawading, our Nunawading councillors. Without the councillors agreeing to act as guarantor for the club for the $160,000 loan that we required to build this complex, none of this would have been possible. The council initially provided us with a 20-year lease of the property that we're on, that they provided the club with a $15,000 interest-free loan that we're repaying off annually. They constructed the car park outside there for us. I think many older members will remember the dust and the bog heat that we had out there for the many years. They provided the extra pocket of land out here so that two years ago we were able to build two extra new courts which we sorely needed with the tremendous increase in juniors and midweek ladies that we'd had around the club. We have a very strong supportive council in the city of Nowadding, and I'd like each of them to come forward.
thank you all for coming this afternoon, to thank all our guests for making their time available to come, and uh, all of us uh, present, thank you, the members, for supporting the committee, supporting the club, and uh, now I'd like you to all join in afternoon tea uh, upstairs. Thank you very much.